In early March, seven Colorado healthcare systems, from Boulder Community Health to Denver and UC Health, came together to form a pretty unique medical community. This response, this collaboration uh, among our health system uh, CMOs and this collaborative is actually really special. Um, I have not heard from my uh, peers, network of peers nationwide, of anything similar to this at all. From March to May, these health systems care for nearly 5,000 COVID-19 patients collectively, while 66 percent of those patients were eventually discharged. 14% of all their patients died. Their collective patient data revealed something surprising. Ventilated patients had a higher mortality rate. When you put a tube in somebody, um, you are putting them at risk for other things like infections and damage from oxygen levels and uh, pressure from the ventilator. Uh, a common technique in ICUs is called proning. And it's where you turn a patient from one side to the other side so they don't collect fluid, if you will, on that one side of the lung and create more issues. They started doing this on patients that were not in our ICUs so that they could keep those lungs functioning better. And what they really try to do is, is try to prevent intubating by using other techniques and using them earlier. Avoiding intubation and finding alternative treatment plans. That's what these doctors are working on now for future COVID-19 patients. We learned that the patient can kind of get through it on their own in many cases if we just avoid the intervention of intubation and get them through COVID on their own without being so aggressive with the intervention. For Nine News, I'm Lori Lizarraga.